Hello Champions, we got one last character to preview and it is Seth Rollins, Icons of WrestleMania. He is a showboat, if we have a look at the card and the text, it says Triple H's betrayal to Rollins started this feud that was building to a fever pitch for several months, but it didn't go as planned when Rollins re-injured his knee during a fight. Later on, the unsanctioned match between Seth Rollins and Triple H was decided to take place in WrestleMania, which would wrap up three years of storytelling in a single match. After eight weeks of recovery from his injury, Rollins wasted no time taking the fight to Triple H in WrestleMania 31. Seth Rollins sure couldn't walk properly after the match, but was called the Kingslayer for a reason as he completely destroyed Triple H and Stephanie with a super kick and then gave Triple H a taste of his own medicine by using his signature move, Pedigree. So his promoter bonus at 15k is Powerhouse only earns 60% more notoriety from Showdown Battles, links with the other icons, and no gear. As far as the gear goes, it looks pretty damn good. Now the first move set we'll have a look at is the Shinrenui, which is 12 MP yellow move finisher deals 91k damage and make 15 random gems into botch gems and pin the opponent. The Turnbuckle Powerbomb, 8 MP Yellow Move, deals 60.4k damage and make 5 botch gems into purple gems. And the Tornado DDT, 9 MP Purple Move, deal 43.5k damage and choose 4 black gems to swap into yellow gems. Trainers will use our woods to start with more purple. Daniel Bryan to create more purple with the Powerbomb. All of Fame Booker to make one more yellow from the DDT and Ogan also to make one more yellow with the DDT. We don't go with Ziggler here. The reason for that is there's not much chance that we're going to have eight black to swap every time. Since it's really black to yellow and not random, limited use. So we'll see. I tried that on stream yesterday and it turned out to be a pretty long match. Alright, let's get a yellow. More yellow. Okay, now we're going to use the finisher who's going to make a bunch of botched gems, 15 of them. So 10 are going to get converted into purple. Black into yellow. Don't even have six. Now there's no point using the yellow move because I mean there's only two botch that would be converted into purple. The others are already purple. Finisher. Sure. 
Next turn we'll turn them into purple. If we have a next turn. Shell bolts are not great at kicking out. Or doing damage. Okay, and we'll finish this with that. It works, but it is a long match. Alright, let's look at a different version of that. Alright, second move set we're gonna have a look at. The rear naked choke. 9 MP yellow move, submission plays 6 submission gems and do 19.3k damage for 5 turns while sub gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into botch gem. So basically this is going to replace the finisher as our source for botch gem. Turnbuckle power bomb, 8 MP yellow move, deal 60.4k damage and make 5 botch gems into purple gems. And a Tornado DDT 9 MP purple move deal 43.5k damage and choose four black gems to swap into yellow gems. We just swapped the finisher basically. Trainers for that, you could still use woods. I went with a cam so I get that submission ready faster. Uh, I also went with Austin 316 so that the submission is going to do 10k more damage because it adds 50%. Uh, could have gone with Daniel Bryan but again... I would have made 9 botch into purple gem, but I'm only making 6, so uh, that would be kind of pointless. I'm using Booker T to get one more yellow right there. Uh, could have gone with Ziggler too instead of Austin, but again, what are the chances that I would have 9 yellow gems, on, uh, 9 black to make into yellow? Pretty low. And I used Rikishi to get that yellow faster. Right, let's do this. Okay, so this is pointless to use right now because we don't have botched gems, don't have purple, don't have yellow. Let's take away his green and the red. Since those bodge gets converted into purple, I'm trying to place them where they would work on purple, but obviously they might get moved around. For that. Uh, 
Alright, so mission again. Black into yellows. They're pretty well placed so far. Okay, some mission. This worked a lot better than I did yesterday in my stream. <laughs> Alright, let me show you the other moves because there's really no other move set that works well. And there is still a bunch of moves that we haven't used. Like one of those move set is going to be if you're facing someone that uh, uses purple. I'm not going to show you because I tried it twice yesterday on stream and that was like 15 minute matches, but you would use Kai great sidekick, and this. It would be the diving double foot stomp, 8 MP purple move, deal 31k damage, and destroy 3 random red gems. That would load your red straight side kick 4 mp red move deal 22k damage and choose four gems to make into freeze gems which don't really have much use in there and a sky high 7 mp red move deal 27.6k damage and steal up to 5 mp from each of your opponent purple moves so basically this would load your finisher and not your finisher but your purple move and then the purple would give you the red so None of those do much damage. As you can see, they're all around the 20 and 30 mark. That made for a very long match. Like I said yesterday, it was 15 minutes for the match. So it works, but it is really slow and you can get screwed any point during the match if you fa face someone that can get a, a strong move going. So that's pretty much it. That covers all the move. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out. Ciao.